So yesterday we spoke about the comfort in knowing that God is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, because it means he's the God of the covenants. He's a covenant-keeping God. But there's something else about him being the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob that is very encouraging and comforting for me. I've noticed many times in scriptures that that is how he's referred to. And I've looked at it. What is Abraham known for? Abraham is known for his faithfulness. He's known for his level of faith. We, we call him the father of the faithful. And Christians aspire to be like Abraham, to have the faith of Abraham. Isaac. Isaac is known to be the stable, meditative, dependable one. You know, he's the only one of the three patriarchs that never left the land of Canaan. His name was never changed. He lived the longest out of all of them. He lived until 180 years old. He was prayerful, meditative. But then, Jacob. Jacob seems to almost have been cut from a different cloth. His very name means heel catcher. Con artist, basically. Yes. And he was known to depend upon his own strength and his own skill and to try to find ways to maneuver himself into positions of superiority. We found that even when God was trying to bless him, the angel had to wrestle with him just to bless him. Jacob, his story seems so spotted. Yet, God saw it fit to align himself not only with Abraham, the father of the faithful, or Isaac, the stable and meditative one, but also Jacob, who had struggles, whom did not get it right sometimes, whom he was known to be the one that tried his own thing. And I'm happy. I'm happy that God is not just a God of the faithful and the stable and meditative, but he's also the God of the one who has challenges, whose antecedents aren't so wonderful, but who has the ability to change and to become. Thank God, because it means that he is our God. So whether it is your story is such that you'd be called the faithful or the stable or the one who really had a spotted beginning. He is your God, your God, my God. He will not disown any of us. Let's talk about it. Like, share, comment, Subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank God he is our God.